Amutekun demands sophisticated weapons to tackle criminals in the Southwest. Hello, my wonderful people. The Southwest governors came together some time ago and they put up the security operative tagged codename Amutekun. It has been one of the recent blessings they've done to the people of the Southwest, I must say, and um, it is truly a blessing. What happened is what you can see today clearly shows to us that really, truly, sincerely, it was a blessing. Amuteko came on the heels of rising insecurity when the Attorney General of the Federation stood up against it, saying, no, how dare you say, blah, 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 blah. And people were wondering, oh God, what is your problem? Seriously speaking, what is your problem? Leave these people alone. Anyway, thank God Amutekun has come to stay. And here we are today. As we speak, you know, because of some of the constraints that was put around the security operatives, they don't have what we call sophisticated weapons to be able to deal, okay, with the level of insecurity and um, the criminals. Include, thank God for the reduction of Fulani headsmen on the heels of, um, you know, on the accounts of, you know, uh, uh, um, the accounts of, uh, you know, uh, Amuteko and bound on open grazing. But still, you cannot use sticks, okay, and uh, whatever it is, any form of just, you know, to go against people who are carrying poor passion. It is it's so different ball game altogether. And so this is their solemn cry that the governors of the Southwest do more. Please do not forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Amutekun demands sophisticated weapons to tackle crimes. The Director General of Amuteku Corp in Oyo State, Ola, Ola Yinka, has said that men need to be allowed to operate with sophisticated weapons to effectively tackle criminals who terrorize the people with AK-47 and other weapons. Olainka said this in an interview with her correspondent in Ibadan on Tuesday. He said there was a great difference between firepower of weapons being used by criminals torturing the people and the ones being used by Amutekun Corp. The commander said why Amutekun Corp operates with dame guns, locally made ones. These hoodlums you are confronting operate with superior firearms, AK-47 and the likes. This is said accounted for loss of lives of some members of the security outfit when they engage criminals in the gun jail. He said Amuteko needs to be allowed to carry sophisticated weapons to confront such criminals. The criminals we tackle use sophisticated weapons. That is why we lost our men. When you are using a dead gun to attack criminal carrying AK-47, how do you survive that? who issues license to the criminals carrying better weapons. But we cannot do that. Why? Because we are lawful security outfit created legally with the legislators. I believe we should be empowered by the same law to carry sophisticated weapons to be able to face this and to tackle it effectively. We thank the Southwest governors for bringing up Amuteko and their efforts to ensure ban on open grazing. Still, there are other challenges confronting us. For instance, there are threats, especially in, the, in this uh, period when Christmas is approaching. You don't expect the police to go inside the forest. They don't do that. They are not trained to do so. Check it out. Their scope of job is when the, when the deed is done, they come in and they pick up the, the, the suspect. They don't do the groundwork. Our members are like vigilantes, hunters, and we operate even in the bush, the nook and crannies. Good knowledge of the terrain. We are from the areas, so we understand what is going on. Unlike some persons who were posted, who wants to also protect their lives at the bottom end of it. Amutekun man, you have spoken well. You said the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And I applaud you for saying the truth, because what you said is quite candid. It's, it, 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 is, it, is a, it is the sincerity of sincerity. You said it all. You said it all, you know, because when you look at it, these criminals, they are carrying this kind of, you know, things. And when they go about what they do, the damage they, 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 they incur, only God can truly heal, you know. Most times, sometimes, lives are lost. But with Amutekun, you know, Amutekun, the way he operates, 
it could give a better you know experience to help people so at the end of the day you know people uh, you know are not uh, destabilized and um, they can minimize the damage so i'm asking for help in this regard i don't think it is out of order i think it's something that should be considered remember that the attorney general is against this he wants the people, to, in fact, they have a mission statement to reduce the population of the South so that they can infiltrate. And you know, like they say, the game of numbers. When you have your enemy, if your enemy is more, most times if you watch epic movies and the rest, when the enemy become more, you see the other people surrendering and running back, you know, going back to re-strategize or to reinforce. If you stay in that same battle when you see that you have been overpowered, guess what? Is it that you are prepared to meet your maker or you might, or whatever decision you have, probably not known to other people? So that is the case. That is the sincere call. Where everybody needs to rise up to the occasion and say the truth as it is. Amuteko needs to be more equipped, more armed, so that they can carry out their job, their work effectively. The whole scheme of them, you know, just walking around in the bush trying to catch this man with their hands is fallacy. It's a deceit. And again, it's from the attorney general who does not want, you know, the people of the southwest to be safe. Look at all that is going on in the north. Have you heard this man say a single word? The same person that was kicking against Amuteku. Amuteku is not happening in the north. Excuse me, my brother. It's happening in the south. What is your problem? You know, there will be issues going on in the south. They will be meeting up in the north and taking a decision. And I wonder sincerely, like, where is this coming from? Why do we have so much hostility among ourselves? You know, why, why is this competition? You know why? When you force a round peg into a square hole, these are some of the things that come out. Like the saying goes, round squares go to round holes. But when you, at all costs, force round pegs into round, you know, round pegs into square holes, be ready for what follows. This is what is happening, you know. Things are going on in the south. Take for instance what happened during the the whole um, the whole NSAS. <laughs> you do know the the, the 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 southern governors were not called upon. What was happening was happening in the south. They were not called upon investigate. Rather, Buhari had meeting with the emirs with the likes of them, and they were having meeting and taking decision on what was going on in the south. How does it relate? Now, so we see Amo. Leave us a comment. We we'll really love to hear from you. Please do not forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Bye for now.